Hey guys, in this video I am going to be comparing the Windows 10 Mobile and Android 7.1. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about these two operating systems. And let's get right to it. So from the lock screen of Windows 10 Mobile, when you just press this button, the on button, you see Windows logo, you see um, camera logo and you see um, search button and you see time and date and that's pretty much it while on android when you press when you're on the home screen you see your notifications you see the time of course and you see the option for camera or phone calls in windows lock screen this is kind of what it looks like and when you press on hold and something you can do this to extend it to make the icon larger or do this to make it smaller or you can press this to remove it and this is what the windows launcher looks like and this is your home button and from here when you press this you can see all your apps and this is what all the apps menu looks like and you press this to go back in windows you really don't have the option of multiple launchers in the play store so this is the only launcher you have and this is the only thing you get the only difference is how you arrange the icons and what icons you put on the screen in Android on the other hand this is what the icon kind of looks like the home screen and this is what the app drawer looks like and depending on the launcher that you are using the app drawer and the home screen will look a little bit different in Google Play Store you have the options of many different launchers for you to choose from for your home screen you are not stuck with one particular launcher in Windows operating system when you put on this is kind of what your drop down menu looks like and this is what your apps looks like and from here you can either expand to have this or this collapse to put it back and these are the only options you get you really don't add anything else to it and that's what it looks like and you press this to clear everything and your battery percentage is up here in the top corner and there's no battery percentage up here in Android on the other hand when you pull down this is kind of what your notification looks like it looks a little bit different depending on the app and when you pull down you see more options and you can add other and you can add um, things to this you can add more things or remove things so you have the options for customizing your drop down menu and what appears there and everything and the clear all button is down here in Android in most Android phones in Windows to see all your recent apps and to clear it you press and hold the back button and this is what it looks like and you see all your recent apps and there is no clear all button so to clear your apps you can just drag down to remove it or press this icon here and it will close everything up in Android on the other hand you press this button to see all your recent apps and you have one button to close them all at the same time Windows 10 Mobile uses Cortana as its digital voice assistant and you can call up Cortana by pressing this and typing something or talking to it or you can just press this search button and Cortana comes up also in Android on the other hand depending on the phone you have you have different options for voice assistant so you can use um, Google Assistant by pressing and holding this if you have a Samsung you can use Bixby you can also use Alexa you can even use Cortana in Android but in Windows the only voice assistant available is Cortana now let's move on to the settings menu in Windows this is what the settings menu look like it looks like um, Windows PC settings menu you have all your different options and you can search for something up here or you can just click on something and make changes to it like that and in Google this is in Android this is what the sentence menu looks like this is what some song sentence menu looks like not every menu looks like this but for the most part so this is how it's arranged you have your description describing everything and you click on it to make changes and stuff like that so there's quite a little bit of difference in how the settings menus are displayed and if you have a Windows PC you're most likely familiar with Windows settings menu already now let's look at the Play Store 
and Windows Play Store. This is kind of what it looks like on the home page. And when you press this, you see a lot of different options. So this is very, very similar to Windows PC. And you see different categories up front. And let's say you search for something like Spotify. It will show up here. You see I'm um, Spotify and you see I'm um, different things and you see the option to install or launch it and you see the description suggestions below it and you to tell you the system requirements for you to download this app. And if we go back here to the home page and search for something like social media and click search. From here, you can choose the type you want to search. If you want to search in apps, games, artists, albums, if you want to search different things. So this is where you choose it. And you choose the operating system here if it's mobile, desktop, HoloLens, Xbox. And let's say I choose something like apps, show all. This is kind of what it looks like. It doesn't feel everything on the side. I don't know why, but this is kind of what you get. And if you go back, and let's say choose games and show all that's what it looks like and you just click on each one to download it in android on the other hand when you go on the play store this is kind of what the google play store looks like you get a many different options it's more aesthetically pleasing to the eye and you have your categories up here for you to choose from and when you press this you have um, different options and categories for you to choose from here and let's say you type in something like social media or digital media you see um, different options here movies music books and you see apps and stuff and this is more aesthetically pleasing this is more organized you know you see a little bit icon and description and you can click more and see more about it so it kind of fills the whole screen as opposed to this that looks half baked or something like that and when you're ready to install an app, just click on it and you can install or launch it. And you see um, the app category and everything. You see images, you see people's review about the app. You go to read more, you can read more about the app over here. It tells you the system requirements and everything that you need to know about the app down here. Windows Play Store does not have a lot of apps in it, while Google Play Store has a lot of apps. Just for example, in the Windows Store, you don't have any Google app, you only have one Google app. If you click, type in Google and click search, and this is the only, pretty much the only Google app that is available in Windows Store. A lot of apps are missing from the Windows Store, but in Android Google Store, you have all Microsoft apps, all Windows apps. So if you type in Microsoft. If you type in Microsoft in Google Play Store, you see many different options for you to choose from. Anything Microsoft, you pretty much have it in the Google Play Store. But Windows Play Store is very lacking in apps. Windows 10 Mobile doesn't really have a lot of options for browser. You can get Google from the Windows Play Store app or you can use Microsoft Edge, which is the app that comes pre-installed with it. And the search bar is right here at the bottom and if you want to make some changes, you click this to get it. And I don't like the location of the search bar at all. And then you can type in something like, let's say, one, and just say search, and then to make um, the search. And it's not very fast and responsive either. And in Android, on the other hand, your search bar is here on top, where it's more convenient. Not only is the Windows Store lacking in app, the apps it does have is not very good, and it's not very aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Let's take for example the Facebook app in Windows versus Android. This is what the Facebook app looks like in Android. It looks very good. It's aesthetically pleasing to the eyes and immersive experience. And it just looks super good. But in Windows, it kind of looks flat, looks outdated and stuff like that. The icons are down here as opposed to up here. And it doesn't look very good. It doesn't look very appealing in the eye in Windows. But in Android, the Facebook app looks really good. And let's check out another app such as Instagram, for example. 
this is what the Instagram app looks like in Windows. Again, it looks a little bit flat, not so aesthetically pleasing, not so rich, not an immersive experience. And this is what it looks like in Android. It looks a uh, much better, you know. It looks good in Android. And let's check out another app such as Pandora. This is a very big one in difference in app functionality. In Windows Pandora app, what you get is only radio. You don't have the option to create playlists. You only get radio. You can only create radio stations and listen to radio stations. You cannot create playlists or download music for offline listening. You have your settings here and you have your sleep timer, stations, and that's basically it. In Android, on the other hand, you can create playlists. You can have music for offline listening. You can have music for offline or online listening. You can browse. You can do many different things. There's a lot of functionality in Android Pandora app, while a lot of functionality is lacking in Windows Pandora app. The next app I'm going to show you is something like Twitter. In Android, this is what the Twitter app looks like. It looks very good, it looks aesthetically pleasing to the eye, it looks rich, it looks immersive. But in Windows, the Twitter app kind of looks flat. Again, you have your some icons down here, you have some icons up here, and everything is just all over the place. It's not, it's not so nice, not well as well organized. In Android, you just have your icons up here, and in Windows, it kind of looks as if the icons are outdated or something like that. And it doesn't um, refresh a lot, and it's just not very good. And for example, the Amazon app in Windows kind of have this settings tab right here, and whenever you search for something, um, whatever you search for will appear on this side. So you only have this screen for viewing the content that you search for and your, this settings bar is persistent and stays right there but in Android the Amazon app is kind of immersive in its um, full screen and you don't have to worry about persistent search bar over there and everything is more organized and everything looks aesthetically pleasing in Android. The built-in keyboard in Windows 10 is pretty much the only thing you get. In the Play Store, there's no other option for keyboard, like the keyboard looks awful, kind of too long, it's not aesthetically pleasing, there's not a lot of customization. Like I do not like this Windows 10 keyboard, I wish there was other option. If you type in keyboard and just click search, you, you don't see any keyboard apps for you to choose, so you kind of see games and stuff like that, but just no real keyboard app re replacement for Windows 10 Mobile. While in Android, you have many different options for keyboard. So if you type in keyboard, you see many different keyboards for you to choose from. So you're not stuck to one keyboard. And most for most keyboard, you can customize it as you want. In Windows 10 Mobile, you really can't do much customization in the keyboard. All right, guys, that's my comparison of Windows 10 Mobile and Android operating system. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one. In the meantime, I will see you on the next video. Bye.